Welcome back th today, y'all, for another video. This one is going to be some good old collard greens. And I want you to see how I started tearing them off the stem. Um, can you see how the videos? And that's how I know I would just kind of like come down so far, and then I would tear them off the, off the stem and just keep all the, the big leaves. Now, you can buy the one in the bags, and you also can buy the frozen one. Um, and the way that we're going to season them down will be the same way, but I just like the fresh ones. But I want you to see. And then once I wash my leaves really, really good, I'm going to show you how I cut them. I just, just bob them up together. If you want to be cute and stack them and roll them, you can. But, honey, I just grab them like my mama would do them. She would just normally just cut them so fast, but I normally just lay mine down and just kind of cut just like this. That's all you got to do. If you want them to be cut, chopped fine, you can, but I just go, just cut like I'm slicing a, a steak or something. And that's it. And I put them over and grab my next one for They've already been washed really, really good. I normally wash my eyes like four or five times. Even when I'm taking them off, off of the stalk, I have my water constantly running, and I will run each stalk under the water. Then I will grab a handful of them, and I'll start just pulling them off the stalk. And then I will just wash them down and grab another brush like that. So I'm going to finish the rest of these, and we're going to come back because the next step I want you to see what I do to start my meat that's going to cook before we put the greens in. So we will be back. Now we're going to clean our meat. I've already rinsed it. These are smoked neck bones that we're um, using today to go into our greens. But I want you to see, um, because you really have to check, even though you know we get our meat from the butcher or whatever, it's already pre-packaged, we still have to clean them, wash it good. So I just wanted to show this. Always flip your, your neck bone over, whether it's the smoked neck bone or the regular neck bone, but flip it over and you're gonna notice this area you know, between the bone where you're going to see this. Sometimes it be packed with like fat or whatever, but I just like to just, just take whatever is there. I just like to clean it out because one thing about it, the inside is going into like the marrow of the bones and that's where the season comes in. So it'd be like little fat, little pieces or some kind of other little packed debris or something, but I always just flip it over. These are cut thin. I don't like when they split these things in half. They just really giving us less meat for our money this day and time. But we have it again here. And I'm just going to go in. Just take your little old sharp knife and just take that out. Doesn't take long. And after I do this, then we're just going to still go back to the water again and just rinse it. Just always. just put just a little vinegar in my water that I rinse and wash my meat off with and it just helps take off the little particles that we see floating around in the water because we're not there when these folks cutting this meat up y'all know that we just see it so pretty and nicely packed into the package when we go into the meat market but we don't know what's going on behind them doors when them folks put, cutting that meat and wrapping it up so when we get it home we just always need to double check it and inspect it and wash it off really really good trust me if it's a good smoke meat the smoke is in there so we can't wash the smoke flavor out of it it's there so that's not gonna take away all right we got that done so now that we have them all in there nicely now i just eyeball how much water that i put in my boiler um if it's a six quart boiler you're using, a five quart, I would say um, if you just want to measure, maybe, maybe three cups, start out with that. Um, you don't have to fill it all the way up because the greens are going to produce water themselves. So you don't have to have that much. But the main is the water amount is really for the boiling and the cooking of um, the meat. And even though when I still put them in here, 
in my bowl, and if I see little particles or whatever float around, I just, just do like a double rinse. So I actually put it on the um, stove and let it start cooking. So I think this is going to be good. Now, my water is really clear. I'm pleased with that. So we're ready to go to the stove next. And it's not going to take these as long to cook because, like I say, they cut these jokers in half. Yes, like a and we are back. I've started already putting some of the greens in the pot. And we're just gonna get it all in here. This is a six, six and a half quart size pot. So count just force your greens on up in there because they're gonna break down. It may look like it's too many, but you don't have to worry. It's gonna break itself down once they start sweating down. Give it a few minutes. Okay. Normally I would just put the top on it and let it sweat on down some, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just start putting all of the season in so you can see what we're using here. And all of our ingredients will be below in the description box. I've already put a little salt. I'm just gonna put just a little bit more and then I will taste it later on to see if I need to put any more. So you can kind of like taste as you go. Going in with the red pepper flakes. If you don't want to use the red pepper flakes, you can use like the whole part on pepper. Adding in the vinegar. And I'm adding in my lard. Yes, don't panic. Don't grab your heart. I said lard. That's what's going to give your greens the flavor of the old-fashioned greens. Lard, yes. And this is what it looks like. Buy your box of this. More else. Kroger carry it. I know Kroger does. Or you can get um, the, the almond box. But keep your box of this in your refrigerator and you don't have to use as much, but just keep this. It'll last for the longest. And I promise you, it will give your greens that old time, old fashioned flavor. One more thing we're gonna put just a Just a pinch of sugar. So we're gonna put the top on this. And we're going to let it sweat down. That's it. Just let it sweat down. When it starts sweating down, we're going to move it around. Make sure everything is incorporated good. I've taken my meat out just for a little while. And once everything sweats down, we're going to put the meat back on top. But all the flavor is still is within our um, liquor, as my daddy used to call it, liquor. So we're going to let this cook down, sweat down, and we're going to come back. Okay, you see how everything has has sweat down? And that was two big bunches out of Walmart. They bunches be pretty thick. So yeah, that was just two big bunches. Um, normally, if it was on a holiday or something, I probably would do four bunches, but this is just through the week, so I only need two. So when it sweat down like, like this, then take your little tasting spoon and just see if you need any more salt. And this is where you can add a little bit more. Or if you think you may want a little bit more pepper. Some people like their greens hot. Now, that's all of the season. You don't need no season salt, no onion powder. Don't put none of that. But if you just don't want to use the lard, if you're just so afraid of the lard, you can use vegetable oil. And I will put um, the amount also um, for that if you just want to use that. But... But just trust me, if you do use the vegetable oil, just try just a little bit, just if it's nothing but a teaspoon of the lard, and you will just see the big difference in the taste. And oh my goodness, you would think that your great-grandmother have cooked them greens. I'm telling you, you got to try it like that. So now that it's sweated down, we're going to just put our meat right on back in there. And like I said, this is the smoked neck bones. I did have just a little piece of salt meat that I added in there. 
Because I just cook old time, y'all. I'm sorry, but, yeah, it's just a little piece of salt meat, but you don't have to do that. You just go with just your smoked meat. These are the smoked neck bones. You can do the smoked pigtail, smoked turkey neck, you know, whatever you think that may have, you know, a lot of lean meat on it. That's just how, you know, um, we cook it. So now, everything is ready. We're going to let this cook now. Um, probably about another 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to check it. But maybe uh, about a good hour because collard does cook longer than your mustard and your turner because they're, those other greens are much tender than your collard. So they're going to cook longer. But I'm just going to check them um, at the 30-minute mark just to see what they're looking like if I need to stir them or whatever. But once again, that's them. And we will come back when they are ready. Looking mighty good. We're almost there.